What's up YouTube, Jeff back from SamuGuru.com here and today another exciting Samsung video for you guys. And before we get started in this video, I wanna thank everyone. We got enough viewers and watch time to get monetized and accepted into the YouTube partner program here for the Sammy Guru channel in just about three or four days. So huge shout out to everybody who came over from my personal channel and new subscribers. Hope you guys will stick around and enjoy the content. Now today, we're going to be talking about One UI 8, five hidden features that you may not know about that are actually useful. And I may have a few bonuses in there because who knows, maybe I'll go over five, but we'll see, my plan is five. Uh, before we get started, I do want to remind you guys, check out the website, samiguru.com, cover the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews in breaking news format. We've been breaking tons of news on One UI 8.5, so if you're interested in that, definitely check out the site, bookmark it. If you're in the US, you can get it on the Mystery Box program. You get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, 65 watt charger, other random goodies when you pre-order a Galaxy S26 device in January 2026. Tap on the orange banner, tap on this box here, put in your phone number, email, or both. Uh, to get notified when this goes live on Sammy Guru Rewards, you'll be able to sign up for your account, get your unique link, order through our affiliate link with Samsung. That's all you have to do. It's how we fund the program. Uh, we cover all the shipping costs and all the items. 65 watt charger in every box for the first time, in addition to all the other goodies we've been doing for years. That'll be in the pinned comment description if you're interested in that. Now, a couple of tips on the lock screen to start off. A lot of people don't know that the brand new adaptive clock that I just talked about in a previous video, I talked about things you need to know about the adaptive clock because it does have some quirks, actually animates if you have the always on display. So if you have the always on display on, you double tap, it animates to the adaptive position around your wallpaper. Now keep in mind, it only works with pets and people for the most part, though you might get it to work for some scenery, but it is fairly restrictive. If you wanna check out my video, I'll drop it up here uh, so you can learn more about this and how to use it and the restrictions on it. But for the next tip on the AOD, if you go into a music app like YouTube Music, I grabbed some non-copyright music so we don't lose our monetization on the first day of having it. Um, but if you go to the AOD and you're playing some music, you can double tap to play and pause. And if you're already playing, you can go to the next song by double tapping here to go forward or go backwards. So you can skip track, forward, back, double tap to play or pause, which is super convenient if you're on the AOD, you don't actually have to wake the phone to use your music controls on the now bar. Now keep in mind, this is actually not done by default. So you do need to go into the AOD settings and always on display and turn on show now bar. Uh, if you turn that off previously in One UI 7, and I've seen some people say that it's not even enabled by default, uh, in certain regions or devices when they install One UI 8 as an upgrade from One UI 7. So make sure you do that, and then those double tap tricks will work always on the always on display. Up next, let's take a look at Gallery Labs. So Gallery Labs has been around for a while, but if you go into your gallery and you go down to your settings and go down to About Gallery, and you repeatedly tap on the version number here for Gallery, you'll enable Gallery Labs. You'll see Gallery Labs is enabled, and if you go back to the gallery settings page at the very bottom, you'll see gallery labs. You can tap on this and you've got a bunch of different gallery labs features. Now there's a couple of features here that you'll probably want to enable. Well, I mean, it really depends on your preferences, but there's a couple that I would recommend. One of them is AI zoom, enhanced image while using pinch to zoom for small images. This is on by default, at least in my region, but make sure it's on there. It's a very useful feature. And then add search tab which will add a search tab at the bottom, which I do like, it's not there anymore by default. And private storage to keep image and videos in hidden area. This private album feature is also a new one that you may want to enable. So if you go back, you will need to close the gallery to see the search tab once you enable it. Down here, you'll now see that search tab that we were just talking about. And then of course, you'll also see the private feature that I was talking about as well you'll have the ability to create a private album uh, for various photos. If you have a favorite photo, you can go in here and you can go to move to private album and that will then move it to secured storage. So this is another gallery labs feature that gives you some secure stored options inside of your gallery, which I think is pretty awesome. Up next is the new quick share redesign. So if you don't use quick share a lot, maybe you should start because it's quite awesome. If I go here into my quick settings, go to quick share, um, you got a couple of new settings that some of these came with One UI 7, but the new UI is the main thing. So if you look at this new UI you've got, you now have a receive and a send tab. So you'll be able to see exactly what you've sent and what you've received with QuickShare. Previously, all those files showed up in the same place, which made it a lot more cluttered. 
a lot harder to see you know, what was what. You can also share directly from here by selecting files, receive files. He's also got this nice little gradient look to it, which looks really cool. Um, inside the settings, there are some really useful features you might wanna take a look at. You can share and uh, with Galaxy and non-Galaxy devices with different Galaxy, you know, different accounts, Google account, Samsung account, depending on what you want to share with. Um, allow sharing over the internet, which was added fairly recently. Uh, you can also change who can share with you. And if you do everyone, you can change this time limit here to just 10 minutes, which is kind of a nice feature uh, if you want to turn it on. But just briefly, use Wi-Fi only, and you also now have the private sharing history. So like I said, some of those were added with One UI 7, but in addition to this redesigned interface, really does make a nice thing. If you haven't used Quick Share before, it's actually probably better than AirDrop now, in my opinion. Everyone praised AirDrop and how good it was on the iPhone for years, but Google and Samsung have really come together to make Quick Share something special in my opinion, and in One UI 8, it's better than ever. Up next, let's talk about something that's in the actual advanced features and labs menu here in the settings. If you go into advanced features, go into the overall labs menu, you now have the back swipe preview, also known as predictive back gesture. Um, so first of all, if you're using something like One Hand Operation Plus, which I'm using, this then will override it. So if you do use One Hand Operation Plus and you actually wanna see it, you have to turn this off. But the predictive back doesn't work everywhere, but if you're in settings, for the most part, it does. You see how if I do go back here, you can see that it's giving me a preview of the previous window before I go back there. Um, it works in some Google apps and some Samsung's apps, but it's not, it's not ubiquitous for sure. Uh, but like I said, if this is something you like, and I think it'll get added with more support for Google and Samsung apps over time, it is here in labs to turn on, but it's in labs because it doesn't work everywhere. And again, if you use One Hand Operation Plus and good luck, you'll have to turn that off to use it. Personally, I don't think it's worth turning off One Hand Operation Plus, which is why, as you can see, I didn't have it on myself, but it is technically a hidden feature. I also think multi-window for all apps is great to turn on. A lot of people don't know about that one still because it's in the labs menu. If you haven't used it before and you multitask a lot, it's very, very helpful. The last one is a good lock module, but since people have asked for this for so long, I wanted to mention it because some people don't ever check out good lock and you might want to check it out specifically for this. Samsung added custom fingerprint unlock animations with One UI 8's version of Lockstar. And so if you go into GoodLock and you download Lockstar, um, you will then have this option. Lockstar is now built directly into the lock screen as well, which was a major overhaul. There's actually a lot of things in here, which I might even make a full video on. But if you type in Lockstar here, you've now got both options for the lock screen as well as the AOD. And if you do go into the lock screen itself, go back to the lock screen, You'll see if you tap here, you now have these various fingerprint animations and uh, there's basically five to choose from. You've got the default one as well. This one right here is very cool and so is the Ripple. None of them are like groundbreaking. I honestly expected a little more from Samsung. I kind of like this Ripple probably the best of all of them. What I will tell you is just like some other good lock features, this definitely does take some extra battery life, but you guys can see the animation there. And if you've been waiting for custom fingerprint unlock animations, like some of the Chinese phones have, then you do have that with One UI 8 and this version of Lockstar. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Again, check out the website, samiguru.com, the mystery box program for the Galaxy S26. If you're interested, stick around. We're gonna have daily content on this channel, including some short tips and tricks rolling out soon as well. Really excited for this new journey here on the Samiguru channel. Appreciate you guys following, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.